Well, hello, two-stroke turbo fan people. Thank you for checking in my channel. I'm gonna start off again by showing you my stop shop dog, Stella. Stella is the star of the show here. She's hanging out in the Honda again. The sun is shining. It's hot in there, Stella. You like being warm? She loves curling up on the seat of the wrecked car. It's been T-boned and there's no doors on the other side. So she finds her way in takes a little nap, pretends like she's driving. Kind of a funny little dog. What are we working on at the shop today? We've always got something good coming, coming your direction. You know that because you tune in all the time. <laughs> you guys are the best. Okay, here we go. What is this, a 2015 Prius V. Prius V means it's got the extra foot of leg room on the rear door there has as much cargo room as a Ford Explorer when they first came out, they were towed as that. They're very popular. A lot of taxi cabs, a lot of customers have them. This is a good customer of mine. And as you can see, or maybe you don't see, this car is in sad shape. It's been totaled, as a matter of fact. If you look at the gaps between the fender and the bumper here, they're looking a little sad. Between the headlight, there's a big hole cut out of the bumper. The whole bumper is hanging off. The hood is pushed over. Oh, I'm getting two fingers there and I'm overlapping here so I can't get any fingers in that gap. And when you open the door, the driver's door here, you get a nice pinch. So the fender has been compromised. This fender, you can see the gap has been really, the whole front of the car, probably the frame rails have been bent. That's what the two different body shops told the customer he doesn't want to give the car up and I'm his guy I guess <laughs> so the next two days for me is going to be spent trying to make this car look better I'm not going to try to repaint the car I'm not going to try to straighten the frame any more than I can with just hand tools but I got to get the hood the bumper the fenders the door it's all kind of line up and it may be a Frankenstein job but that's all he wants. He has a certain budget and uh, they're going to buy another car with the money they received from insurance for this one. Uh, but this has got to be a little more presentable. The funny thing is no airbags went off. I mean the airbag sensors are all down here in the bumpers and this got hit up here. Which is interesting. Uh, he said he hit a F-150 Ford pickup in the wheel area. That's why the rubber tire marks are there. Um, but no airbags popped, which is kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, there's no warning lights on the car other than it needs basic service like an oil change. And wouldn't you know it, but the military jets are about ready to fly over. That's what you're hearing in the background as the F-16s taking off and all the birds uh, taking flight because they don't like the noise. So we have an active air base right next door. So you may not hear me in a second. Anyhow, we're going to pull this car into the shop. I'm going to try to talk over the F-16s. We're going to take the bumper off, see what we can straighten, and see if we can make this car happy again. It's it's my job. And uh, I'll do it for a really good customer. That he is. All right, let's get in the shop. Got the bumper off the Prius. It's pretty beat up. You can see there's a big hole in it. There's a rip, a rip, and there was another rip right there. And the car is in not much better shape. And I have to say, this might be tough. I've been working, got the hood loosened up. I'm trying to get this hood hinge back into place. I've got a pry bar supporting the base of the hinge and I'm using my adjustable wrenches to bend the hood hinge back into place. The big problem is this. See this, let me turn the light on here. This bumper stanchion that's pivoted out and I can stick my finger in here. This is bent. The whole thing is bent and pushed over. And if I look inside there, the frame is actually bent. This has got an extra big stanchion, so it didn't bend, but it tweaked. Let me just open the hood and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, I had to put the hood hinge back together to show you what I'm talking about. So the impact was about right here. It moved this stanchion over this 
reinforcement bar over it kinked this guy right here and if you look down in there there if you look right down there see that looks like a washer down in there Let's see if I can zoom in on it it doesn't line up with that hole that's how far off the frame is bent to the driver's side so that is why this fender sticks out a little bit and the door hits I am NOT a frame repair shop I just want to fix this up for the guy as best possible and this is going to be a tough one. I've got my port of power. I've got my experience behind me, but I may not be able to fix this. I'm just going to try to make it the best I can. Okay, welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. I'm going to give you a quick weather report. The sun is out and it's shining right on Stella's, the shop dog. Stella's my shop dog, it's shining right on her belly. She loves that. She's just out here lounging around. What are we doing? We're trying to make the world a better place, fixing old cars. I got the Vespa going. Uh, we'll do a video on that later. If I could, uh, I could just find the hubcaps. I'm missing the front hubcaps. I put them in a box, put them someplace, and it's really bothering me that I cannot find the matching hubcaps. So, been stressing over that this morning, and stressing over this car. This is the Prius that I've got the whole front end off, and that I've found that it's worse than I thought. I think I explained to you yesterday this area here is about a half inch maybe a quarter inch this far but when it comes to lining up the hood with the striker you can see how out of whack that is and when the hood shuts it just looks terrible to me let me show you I mean the gap is just is way off here and it's way off here I did get the door to quit pinching, but I think this is, and I don't say this lightly or say it very often, this is out of my realm. <laughs> I, I didn't think it got smacked that hard. It took a hit here and it pushed everything this way. And it seems like it's two inches off in the very front and a half inch off in the back, which is what it is. Talked with the customer. He really doesn't care. I thought I could get these lines to straighten up even with my port of power and with some experience. I mean, I could do it if I tied it to a tree in the back and really pulled on it with the excavator, but I, I don't think he cares. I'm gonna spend more time fixing the bumper cover with zip ties. You can see that I've drilled through and fixed all the cracks. Kind of a Frankenstein effect. That's all he really cares is functionality and make sure the car's safe. So zip tie, zip tie, zip tie, zip tie. And we're going to put it back together and i it bothers me to do that but time and budget it's what we got so we're going to put it back and see how bad it is it's got to be better than it was that's what i say better than it was okay thanks for following along on this prius v bumper restoration progress we got the bumper back on it's not perfect i can't do anything about this missing piece i did frankenstein everything back together. I got the gaps around the headlights good. Well, this is a little off. What happened is he hit a F-150 right about through here and it knocked the center of the core support over. So you can see that the strike has taken a huge hit to the, to the right. I got everything fixed except for the hood and I can't do anything about that because the hood has to latch right there, has to safety and lock otherwise it's not safe he wants the car to be safe so i've fixed all the lights got them working service the engine service the hybrid cooling system got the bumper back on got the license plate straightened out the under uh, panels the plastic this gap keeps popping out i gotta do something about that but at least i got this gap this was uh, a couple inches so i gotta figure out how to get in there and get that tight um, i've got the door gap here Let's see if we open the door. Yeah, it was rubbing right there. It would make a uh, noise. I adjusted the fender this way. This gap is wrong. But let me show you when I shut the hood. It looks awful, but not much I can do about it. Okay, so the hood latches. But you can see it is not great. This is not my best work. Um, but it's safe. <laughs> no. Oh, it's totaled. 
What are you gonna do? You know what, from 25 feet away, nobody's ever gonna notice. So hood latches, windshield's clear, huge gap here, not much I can do about it. This is as good as it gets. And I feel bad about that, but I'm not a frame shop. I'd have to pull the frame horn this way a bunch to get that fixed and I just can't do it. So I'm gonna polish this for the guy, get the tire marks off of here and here and all the other ones that he has accumulated over the years, like I think that'll come clean, that'll come clean. And that will not, but some of that will. Um, he's a good customer. I like having him around. I want to make sure that he's happy. You can actually see, if you look down the side of this car, right down this body line, the fender kind of goes, oop, sticks up, and that's which I can do about without a frame machine to pull that back. I'm tempted to use my excavator to do to pull it back, but I don't want to. I don't want to ruin something. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there and watching me try to save another old clunker. Keep them all on the road. Um, this is actually a pretty modern clunker, but nonetheless, they all need work, and um, I think he's going to be happy. He took the money from the insurance and got to keep his car. That's what matters. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.